Hello, Scorpio, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So, Scorpio, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. We're going to see how the both of you are currently viewing this relationship and how you guys feel about it. And what actions do you guys plan on taking each other's direction and or moving forward? So, with all of that being said, um, let's get started. Let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship. Um, between me and you, uh, Scorpio, I do feel like um, there's somebody here that you plan on secretly leaving. This to me kind of feels like an overall energy of you planning out your exit plan is, is, is basically um, what it is that I'm getting. Now, you could very well be thinking about leaving someone that you're married to or in a relationship with. Um, to be honest... I just personally feel like you're currently planning out your exit plan um, currently at the moment. Um, I just don't feel like right now you're like officially ready to walk away from this marriage in a relationship. Um, and that could have a lot to do with like a variety of different reasons as to why you may feel like you're not ready to leave just yet, but you have every intentions of leaving. Um, you know, that could be due to, you know, your financial situation. It could be due to, like I said, a variety of different things, but I am definitely getting an energy of you wanting to leave someone. Uh, secretly leave someone at that um, but you're currently not ready to do so just yet but when you do feel like you're finally ready to actually leave this marriage and a relationship it kind of looks like that's exactly what it is that you're going to um, do I don't feel like this person that you're currently either married to in a relationship with obviously knows um, that you're currently working on an exit plan to leave this marriage and a relationship I do feel like this person is completely oblivious to what you're planning on doing here is basically what I'm getting. Um, but let's look at your person. Let's see how they're currently viewing this relationship with you. How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay. Oof. Mm. We have the three of swords to the seven of swords. Okay. So in regards to how this person is currently viewing this relationship with you, um, I would say on an intuitive level and on a soul level, something just doesn't feel right to them at least. But because everything on the surface appears to be perfectly fine between you and them, I feel like this person is trying their hardest to not assume and or think the worst. But yeah, there, there, there's an overall energy of them essentially feeling like, oh man, something's just not right. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know. Maybe it's just me overthinking things. Maybe it's just me allowing my past traumas to affect me. Maybe, maybe that's what's going on. But I do definitely feel like what this person's sensing and feeling um, is coming from an intuitive place. I don't feel like they're overthinking things um, or anything like that. Um, but I understand why this person would think that they're overthinking things. Um, and it's it's mainly because everything on the surface appears to be perfectly normal, perfectly fine, um, you know, between you and them so they're not automatically finding themselves thinking and assuming that the reason why they feel the way that they feel has everything to do with you although you know i do feel like this person kind of thought to themselves like hmm, do i feel this way because scorpio's doing something or do i feel this way because something else is going on and i'm just sensing it and feeling it um I do feel like because everything on the surface appears to be a okay or at least normal, um, you know, to this person at least is concerned. It's causing them to feel like whatever it is that they are sensing, whatever it is that they are feeling, whatever it is that they are picking up on, it may not even have anything to do with you. It might have everything to do with maybe like a family member or maybe a friend, you know. Um, but I do feel like it does have everything to do with you. I do. Um, because it does appear to me that you do plan on secretly leaving this person. You're just not ready to do it just yet. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting. How does Scorpio currently feel? Ooh. We have the Devil. We have the Queen of Wands. And then we also have the Queen of Swords. You know, the first thing that came to my mind is I just can't take it anymore. I just can't take it anymore. I just can't take it anymore. Um, I just kind of feel like things between the two of you um, have started to become, you know, very toxic and, you know, very, very chaotic. And I just don't feel like you like it, to be completely honest, how things have 
um, you know, drastically changed, you know, between the two of you, unfortunately, for the worst. Um, so with, with that being said, I, I kind of feel like this is the main reason why you're leaving. I feel like you're, you're, you're leaving because they refuse to change. I feel like you're leaving because you're, you're starting to kind of see things getting 10 times worse between you and them, um, which is also causing you to want to leave because you don't necessarily see things actually improving, um, between you and this person. I just kind of feel like you've kind of reached this point of like, okay, um, they're not going to change. The situation is never going to get better. I need to stop sitting around, you know, hoping that things will essentially change, hoping that things will eventually get better, hoping that they'll eventually stop doing this and that I just can't sit around and do this anymore and, and wait for this change to happen. Um, because I feel like that's what you've been doing. Like, I feel like you've been trying to make this work and stick this one out. Um, because you, you want your marriage to work with this person. You want your relationship to work with this person. But I feel like you sat in this marriage and a relationship long enough to now know that, okay, like things are probably never going to change. This person's never probably going to change. And I just need to accept that already. And, th and that's kind of what we see you doing. We just kind of see you accepting your situation for what it is and not choosing to kind of stick around and wait for the day that things do get better or wait for the day this person does actually change or wait for the day they actually do take your feelings seriously. Um, I feel like you're just tired of waiting for that day to come because the more that you sit here and wait for that day to come, that day, unfortunately, has yet to come, which is causing you to feel like that day is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And it's never going to come. Okay, so that's basically why you're, you know, taking the necessary steps towards exiting this marriage and a relationship. Okay, how does this person currently feel? Mm. Okay. Uh, mm. So you guys come off to me as two people who are very um, spiritually based and very, very intuitive. You're actually coming across as a high priestess, regardless of your gender, male or female, doesn't matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. Um, and your person's actually showing up as a hierophant, um, again, regardless of their gender. So let, let's talk about how this person's currently feeling. With the Nine of Cups, the so Six of Wands, uh, to the Death card coming out here, this overwhelming feeling as far as them essentially feeling like, uh, something's just not right, I just don't know what it is. I feel like um, it'll eventually like go away, but I do feel like it'll eventually come back um, is basically what I'm getting here. It's as if they can't find a way to shake this overwhelming feeling that something's just not freaking right um, is, is basically what I'm getting, okay? Um, and I do feel like it's going to cause them to assume that the reason why they feel like, oh, something's just not right, I just don't know what it is, has everything to do with you and whatever it is that you currently find yourself up to. There's a huge possibility that this person might even like approach you and ask you straight up like, hey, like, is everything okay between us? Is there something that you need to tell me? Um, because I kind of feel like this person is starting to kind of associate this overwhelming feeling of Ugh, something's just not right. I don't know what it is uh, with you now. Okay. And I feel like the only reason why they're starting to associate this overwhelming feeling of something's just not right. I don't know what it is with you you now is because of the way that you're moving it's the way that you've been acting as of lately with the high priestess coming out here that's kind of telling me that you know they're starting to notice that you've been very very withdrawn um you're starting to kind of share less and less and less and less and less with them um you know as far as this person is concerned you know it's like they you know viewed you as like an open book right um you know somebody who would basically tell them anything and everything. The fact that you're not that way anymore with them is a little bit alarming and concerning to them. Um, you know, the fact that you're just out here moving in silence and they don't really know, like, you know, what you're doing, um, you know, where you're going, like, it's just raising a massive, like, red flag I would say for this person because again I feel like this person's so used to you being an open book with them you know like if you were to go to Target you know what I mean like you know you would be the type of person to tell them hey by the way I'm going to Target now you just get it in your car and you just leave and you don't tell anybody where you're going um and again it's just not like you and this is kind of why they're associating this whole uh something's just not 
right? I don't know what it is with you now. And it's because they're noticing a drastic shift within your energy. We got the high priestess of Hierophant coming out here. So that's just basically insinuating that you have been a part of this person's life for a very long time. And so have they to the point where you guys know each other like the back of your hand. Okay, um, this person knows you do like the back of their hand. So they know when something's up with you and they know when something is, you know, off, um, you know, with you. And they're really starting to kind of sense something's up with you, something's off with you. So I do see this person, you know, confronting you and just asking you straight up like, hey, is everything okay between us? Is something wrong? Did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Are you mad at me? Um, you know, I, I do see them kind of going through that is basically what I'm getting. Okay. Now, there's a huge possibility also too. Scorpio, I just want to kind of rewind just a little bit to uh, this top energy. For some of you, you could have recently found something out. That's causing you to fall into this energy of, you know what? You see, they're not going to change. They're still doing this. They're still doing that. That's okay. Um, and I don't even see you saying anything to them or even confronting them about it. Um, I feel like you're just going to stop, you know, wasting your time um, talking to this person, telling this person how you feel, telling this person that by them doing this and doing that, it really does bother you. It really does upset you. You really don't like it. Like, I just kind of feel like you're not going to talk no more with this one over here. Um, you're just going to allow your actions from this point on to speak for you. What actions? Will Scorpio take towards this person or moving forward? So we have the Eight of Cups. We also have the Justice card. And then we also have the Moon. Okay. So in regards to what actions you plan on taking in this person's direction and or moving forward, you will eventually leave this person. But I feel like when you do end up leaving this person... Let's say, for example, you guys share a home together. Let me just use that as an example. Um, I do see you, you know, obviously packing up your stuff and leaving, but it's going to happen when they're either, you know, on a business trip somewhere or they're basically at work is basically what I'm getting. Because I do see you leaving. I do see you leaving, but I also kind of see this person in the near future kind of taken back and shocked. Um, and I do kind of feel like it has a lot to do with the way that you're choosing to leave this marriage in a relationship. So I don't know, maybe you're thinking about leaving this person uh, and, and packing up all your stuff when this person's at work and when they come back home from work, they're, they're coming back home to an empty house. Maybe, you know what I mean? Um, you know, for those of you who don't share a home with this person, it's just something about the way that you're leaving this, you know, marriage in a relationship that you share with this person um, that's going to catch them by surprise. So I don't know if, you know, this is you deciding, you know what, I'm going to change my number and I'm going to, you know, move to this state or move to this city. So that way this person, you know, has zero access to me. Um and then, boom, you know, they're finding out that they can't get a hold of you because you change your number. And then they show up at your house and, you know, you've already moved. You know what I mean? To a whole nother city, to a whole nother state. Like, I just kind of feel like they go from feeling like everything is just like peachy between the two of you to like things drastically switching up out of nowhere. Um, and it's definitely something that they didn't see coming. It's something that they were definitely not anticipating and, and or expecting. Something's coming to an end in this person's life. Um, and it's happening unexpectedly. Um, and it's causing this person to become very worried and very concerned. Um, it is basically what I'm getting. Okay. Um, Again, I just kind of feel like a lot of you feel like talking to this person is basically pointless. Um, talking to this person is basically pointless. You know, I just kind of feel like you're at this point where you rather allow your actions to speak for you than taking time out of your day to have a full, full blown conversation with this person about, you know, what they did and how you just don't like it. And, you know, like you rather not even do that because I feel like you've been there, done that, and it hasn't necessarily gotten you anywhere with this person. What actions? Yeah. It, it, yeah, it kind of looks like uh, Scorpio's leaving the building and it kind of looks like this one over here 
is not going to be able to stop you. And I feel like they're not going to be able to stop you. Be and I feel like the main reason why they're not going to be able to stop you is not because they don't want to stop you. It's just because of how you're deciding to exit this marriage and a relationship. You're either packing up all your stuff and leaving while this person's at work or at a business trip. And by the time they come back home from that business trip or by the time they come back home from work, they're coming back home to an empty house and you're nowhere to be found, basically. Or, you know what I mean, if you guys don't live together, you're changing your number or you're relocating, you know what I mean, um, to the point where now it's like they can't even fight to keep you in their life because you're you're, you're just, you're. this to me feels like an energy of you disappearing, the, you know, off the face of the earth. You know, that's kind of how they're kind of taking it. You're disappearing off the face of the earth. They don't know how to get a hold of you. Um, they don't. They don't know where to find you, you know what I mean? But I feel like that's how you wanted it to be. Um, that's how you wanted it to be. I feel like this person kind of pushed you to the point of no return. Um, is basically what I'm getting. We have the Ace of Swords. We also have the Two of Swords with the Two of Cups. And then we also have the King of Cups. And then we have um, the world out here. You know, I just feel like this person wants to talk to you. To be honest, I just feel like this person wants to talk to you. But as much as this person wants to talk to you, um, I don't feel like this person knows how, to be completely honest. Not, well, let me say it like this. As much as they want to talk to you, it kind of looks like they can't talk to you. And I feel like the main reason why they can't talk to you is because you either changed your number um, or you decided to basically relocate or possibly the two. You know what I mean? Like, I just kind of feel like you know what you're doing. I feel like you know what you're doing. Um, I feel like you know exactly what you're doing. Like you literally planned all of this out in advance before you actually decided to leave, you know, this relationship physically. And I feel like a part of you leaving this person um, has a lot to do with the fact that when you do decide to leave this person, which I do see you doing it, you want to make it to the point where it, is, where it is kind of remotely impossible for this person to gain access to you. Um, so you may have decided to move to another state. Uh, you may have decided to change your number. You may have decided to block them on absolutely everything. That's definitely a possibility, but it, it just kind of looks like this person is losing all access to you. Um, and they're, they're kind of stuck right now, to be completely honest. They're kind of stuck right now. Um, because as much as they want to fight to keep you in this relationship that they once upon a time had with you in their life, they, they, they feel like they can't because you made it remotely impossible for them to do so. So you know what you're doing, basically. Um, but in the end, it kind of looks like you're getting exactly what you want. You know, you want to leave this marriage in a relationship, and I see you doing it. Um, I, I see you exiting this marriage in a relationship the way that you wanted to. Um, which is walking away from this marriage and a relationship, you know, uh, to the point where they can't even, you know, gain access to you, um, or even find you is kind of what I'm getting. I'm getting to gain access to you and, or even find you. Um, so you probably moved or something, um, and possibly changed your number or just simply blocked them on absolutely everything. But yeah, that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.